Hey guys, I'm Patrick and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be talking about geography can play a role in the weather. Now you might think, isn't it obvious? The further north you are, the cooler it is, and the higher up you are, the cooler it is as well. But while that's true, there is more to the topic than just that simple statement. But before we get into the video, I would appreciate if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Now let's get right into it. First and foremost, uh, mountains can do more than just to make the temperature colder with altitude. They can also have an, imp an influence on, precip on precipitation. If mountains are big enough and they are near a large body of water, such as an ocean, they can block moisture heading inland from this body of water, ca causing the other side of the mountain range to be much more arid. This is called the rain shadow effect. Uh, in addition to the rain shadow effect, uh, altitude can also have an effect on precipitation. As water vapor rises, it approaches a temperature where it can condense into a liquid, aka cloud. So, this temperature is called the dew point. In drier areas, the dew point can be low enough that water evaporates before hitting the ground. So, however, as you increase in elevation, that is less likely to happen, thus causing precipitation levels to increase. So, eventually, you reach an altitude where clouds are less likely to form because you're so high up, uh, and precipitation levels decrease. So, these two phenomena prove that mountains can have a huge impact on the weather. Next, the ocean. As we all know, the ocean is made of water, and water vapor makes clouds. As a result, the ocean is a moisture source, as is any large body of water. This causes precipitation levels to be elevated near the coast. However, the precipitation levels decrease as you head inland, uh, especially if the aforementioned rain shadow effect is in place. An example of the ocean and mountains combining to change the weather is California. Near the coast, precipitation is principal, creating ecological phenomena such as the redwood forest. Then, low-lying precipitation is blocked by coastal ranges, causing the inland central valley to be much warmer and drier. Even further east, the Sierra Nevada blocks high-level precipitation, causing the land beyond it to be almost completely dry, aka the Great Basin. Oceans can also have an effect on temperature. Because the air above water is cooler than the air above land, it can cause the coast to be cooler in areas further inland, especially if the wind is blowing off the ocean onto the land. The coast may also have a lower temperature than further inland due to the precipitation effects that I mentioned earlier. This is only a slice of how geography can affect weather and climate. Let me know if you want a part two to this video. And as always, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Thanks, thanks and have a great day.